You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We got some special guests in the building. Mike Will in Trouble. Hey, let's let, let's give it up for hood niggas drinking juice, man. He <laughs> had his juice right there in Trouble said, man, what you sipping on? Mike said, he said that Nia Long, ain't he? No, 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 no. What did you say? That, I said some of that Live Long. That Live Long. Live Long. He said Nia Long. <laughs> <laughs> he said that Live Long. I thought you nigga would lit that shit a little faster. <laughs> you, said, you said that's your third one today? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. I'll be, on be on my juice wipe. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I'll be on my juice wipe in the morning. So you don't do no breakfast or nothing? I'll try, yeah, I'll try, yeah, that is breakfast. Mm -hmm. or, either, or either I might do a little oatmeal with it, you know what I'm saying? Right. I already don't work out, I need to work out. You know what I'm saying? I need to get my workout way. That's why I need to get back active. And, and you juicing too, Trouble? I don't do no juice. I ain't know what he had going on. Yeah. <laughs> I always try to put my arms on, though. I'm just trying to revive myself real quick. I'm flatline, yeah. You was out last night? Yeah, it was a long one. Okay, okay, okay. Some car, I don't That's know what trick. club car. I just be ready to slide, so I end up pulling up on some. We was out all night, though. <laughs> or trouble here to promote uh, Edgewood. 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 How, how much did Mike will elevate your sound? You think? Mike, uh, I don't know. Like, I feel like I feel like my sound been my same sound since mm -hmm. the beginning, for real, for real. And I, it's just a continuation of my story, for real. Like, I just be telling my life story and everything. I've been through and everything. I be witnessing, for real. Like, Mike definitely got some some deeper track than what I might just grab. Cause I, I'm, I'm Gmail shouter. Like, I don't gotta mm -hmm. have one of the bigger producers in the game. I still be going through the Gmail. You can be sixteen for which <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can be sixteen for which talk cans. I don't really be can. Like if you got that heat, I just I just pull it up. But Mike had a different definitely had a deeper sound of where I feel like that's why that why we end up just being like we might as well just do everything the whole way all the way together first. How y'all meet up? How y'all hook up? I've been rocking with Mike for a minute, like since before I really even got in the game, like cause he was already rocking with my bro. Like as soon as I came home, you feel me? Like so he was already like this be honest folk knowing he was always on my line, just trying to get me out of there, like, bro, you gotta stay in, stay locked in, but I still really was walking the, the one foot in, one foot out way, you know what I'm saying? Really not even believing about no nothing. I ain't really, I ain't really like the way, like, the politics you gotta play and just mm -hmm. different dudes out, meaning in the game, I was like, it too, they too gay, like, not in the literal, <laughs> like, not in, <laughs> like, not in the literal sense, like, nigga being gay, like, sitting on the throne, but, you know what I mean? It was just too, it was just too much foo food that I ain't really wanna rock with, but mm -hmm. then I was, I was able to see, like, from me sitting back from doing what I still was doing and then him staying down and still being in the studio and him gravitating to where he end up being it. I was like, damn, that shit will pop off for real. Like, So when he actually ended up coming back in the States and called my phone, he stayed on my line, you know what I'm saying? He ended up just hitting me like, bro, he need to pull up, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, you it, bro. Like, you still, you got the street. Like, snack love you. Like, ain't no way you can't be out of here, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. I was like, man, I just ended up jumping out my comfort zone at one point in time. Like, man, let me go on out there, motherfucker. He always be at one studio. I hate that shit. Like thirty minutes away from the city. Like I'm, I'm up in turf with. Like I'm in the middle of the turf in the A. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not coming out there about no rap. You got but a car, I, right, Trouble? That's yeah, not that far. Yeah. Thirty minutes is not that far. Man, you crazy to go do some rap to a studio? <laughs> Trouble, minutes. it's better than what you used to be doing, man. <laughs> True uh, enough, you yeah, didn't ride, I, you done made that ride. I see that, that now, you feel me? But yeah. it took me a minute to jump out my comfort zone, you feel me? Like, I was still <laughs> stuck in my box. I was like, bro, I'm straight. Well, I'm mad with it, bro. Just pull up to the bluff. Word. You feel like, I don't want to go out with no tree sound. It's Gwinnett County. These folks just sent me, man. These folks just sent me down the road. And for the record, he really did say pull up to the bluff, though. <laughs> nah, <laughs> for real. I, ain't want, I hate it <laughs> going out there. Oh, wait, real quick, too, by the way. Well, well. Trouble didn't mean gay. Like gay, gay. The LGBT. Yeah, he cleaned it up. Yeah, I know yeah. the LGBT community gonna try to jump all over him. He didn't mean it yeah, like no, that. Yeah, I tried to yeah, tell him yeah, for yeah. yeah. All right, yes. now you how, guys how'd you have get the name right? Trouble. First of all, how'd you get the name Trouble? That came from the turf, like from the, some of the OG. Like since I was young and like you was always I, in trouble. I went all the way in trouble. Like I just like it really was just when it was necessary. You know what I'm saying? Like and it came really from me hitting licks and shit. Like from I was pulling moves a like, lot when I was on, when I was a jit. Like and that came before trapping and all that. So like really one of my big dog, he got like sit like sentences right now, free Trey Trey. But he was he was always putting me on and everything. So when he'll push up on the block, he was talking to all the old heads and telling them like who were moving for him and whatnot. So anytime I started coming back up, that one ain't like, bro, anytime shout come around, he ain't finna be nothing but some trouble. Mm. But it really just came from me pushing moves and I was always ready to hit. Like I love like anybody in the A like who just know me or know about anything, like, hey no, I'ma hit it out. Like shout love to fight. Like when we grow up, it was always about the hit game. You know what I mean? We'll shoot it out, we'll bust it at the end of the day, but we love to hit, you feel me? So that just that just kind of a little bit what came behind my name. Now People you guys fuck with you too. Finally, you know I mean? finally yeah. announced that you signed the Air Drummers, but I know you guys have been rocking with each other for a while now. So did you just sign or you just announced it? Because what took so long for this to happen? Nah, I know we actually we actually did like the like the 
the paper, the real paperwork, like probably a little bit before I went back in the county on the last little sit down. Mm-hmm. Like so, it probably like two, like a month and a half before I went back in. And How many times was, you got locked up? Shit, just put my name in Google. It's shit. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just yeah. came home in January, right? Yeah, For I drug up, possession. Yeah, I ended up. Uh, I caught a little. Uh, well, they had they they really were trying to blitz me. It was a little trafficking charge. It was a trafficking charge. Probably like, it was. I think uh, my lawyer said it was like a gram away from being in the fed with it. But like, if it really Damn. went for home, I, they were trying to belt tie me. She told me he's a menace to society. Like, mm. it's obviously ain't learned their lesson. I'm like, man, I ain't even got in there since I've been home from the last little rodeo. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, but she really was trying to sit me. But he ended up, my lawyer ended up working in more. And it's so crazy, bro, the way the big guy worked. Like, my lawyer ended up working there one for me sitting in there probably from like nine in the morning to about four thirty. Lay one up in the courthouse type of movie, you feel me? Just telling them everything for what I had them built up from me being home and what I was working on and whatnot. She ended up going for it. So I was like, I just need a little time going out. Cause I done just invested my money up in the studio. I got my own studio mm-hmm. in the A and all that. I was like, we just did the deal and all this. So she ended up cutting it down and stuck. She stuck. She wasn't finna move all that 10 years. She like, no, cause first she wanted me to get the whole 10 on the seat now. So she gave me 10 years on paperwork and told me to do three in the inside again. I was like, man, shit, I'll go ahead and take that since single digit. I can figure it out. Right. But she was like, shit, I'll give, you, I'll give you like a month and a half to be out, and then you just have to turn yourself in. So I already knew I was going to have to go back in there. So we just, that when we ended up shooting the movie and all that before I went in real quick, just get, get, some, get some things in order. And then my lawyer, it's so crazy. Like, soon I came home, probably like, it probably like a month and a half later, my lawyer ended up dying on me, like, what, like a heart attack? Or something? Nah, yeah, he had done already had cancer. Like he hadn't been tripping about it. Like he had been he had been doing good actually. Like for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Like when I first caught the case, it was shell on him. He had done been told me about it. Like it it hectic, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but then yeah. when I came, like when we were going through it, I was like, you been all right? Like he been rocking with me for a minute since I was young. My same lawyer, mm-hmm. Mike Malou Jr. You feel me? So he ended up he ended up him and he was like, I'm cool. Like before you know it, folks ended up calling my phone. Like man, Mike just tapped out on the. I was like damn, like the, like the cancer shit crazy. So what happens when your lawyer dies and you? That's why I feel like what if I ain't really if I, I feel I, I really feel like on some real shit if I ain't had him like I'd have been in there I had to have another real sit down like I'd real be up through there like cause he just was working and move yeah like you know he the man in the care county there's certain folks you got to go through in different counties you know what I'm saying like who can really work the one so I feel like if I ain't had a home like it would have real been shelled and cut the phone because they was at me so who you got now because it sounds like you might need one again I really man. ain't trying to. <laughs> 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 He called me in that studio anytime, but I be pulling up now and day. Yeah, I'm trying to rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I try to, I be staying out of the way for real, for real. What made you um want to invest in, in trouble, Mike? Because a lot of people would look at him and be like, oh, he might be a liability. He might be a little too much. You know, trouble. Miami, well, sure. Uh, man, when, when, when me and Trouble sit down and have conversations, I don't even really even be about that. You know what I'm saying? We go in the studio and we went in. You know what I'm saying? We we, we went straight in, and you know what I'm saying? Like he, he coming in, like telling this truth. I know. I know how I know how it is in the city of Atlanta. Period. It's like I done came up out there, and like you know, what I'm saying? I know how how hard it is to get on. You know, what I'm saying you have some people that that you know, what I'm saying want to help. Then you have some people that that don't want to help. You know, what I'm saying or you have some people that just want to be the man out here. You know, what I'm saying and like me, like you know, what I'm saying like starting starting air drumming records. Like you know, what I'm saying I always look for like an artist that you know, what I'm saying one is like like. Going in and, and and like super original, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Then you know what I'm saying? Like the next thing, like they have they have like a movement, you know what I'm saying? They got they got the swag, like you know what I'm saying? Boom, and then and then like you know what I'm saying? They they coming they coming different, like they're not they're not scared to be different. And one thing I like about Trouble is like you know what I'm saying? Like like you can hear like the pain, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? On, on certain songs, like he can, he can go in and do like you know what I'm saying? Like a song like Hurt Real Bad or like a song like I Got You. And it's like some real life, like uplifting, like you know what I'm saying, like like hood motivation songs, you know what I'm saying. And then like um, then he then he'll do a song like like Ryder, like you know what I'm saying, like or like a chip record, you know what I'm saying. And it'll be like like you know what I'm saying, like it'll, it'll be the hardest street chick record. And then then he'll do like you know what I'm saying, maybe like on in like a you know what I'm saying on, on some war story, mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying, like. Straight hip hop bars, like you know what I'm saying. And and he I, can I, rap. That's yeah, that's yeah. That he can really go. And, and like I always, been, that, always, always been a fan of like real hip hop, and I always been a fan of like storytellers. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like Trouble does that in like a in like a in like a new way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, like you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like ain't nobody coming out the city like that right now, right now. You know what I'm saying? Like and when, we, when we was in the studio, that's what it, that's what, that's what it was feeling like. So it was like, man, hey, bro, look, I feel like man, we can go. On, we can go and put this out like the right way. Like we were just gonna do six songs. It was just gonna be a mixtape right quick. We were just throwing it out there. 
Edgewood, you know what I'm saying? Six songs, quick mixtape, and then um, I had pulled up on Drake, and then Drake was like, man, hey, bro, what you been working on? You know what I'm saying? Like, we were, me and him were working on something else. He was like, man, what you been working on? I was like, bro, I just did this project with Trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro going, you know what I'm saying? Bro, like, bro going, like, he going too crazy. He was like, you talking about Trouble from DT? I'm like, yeah. So he was like, he was like, damn. He was like, man, that's crazy. He was like, man, let me hear that. What does that sound like? You know what I'm saying? So I let him hear the six songs, and then he like, yo, that third song, like, bro, go back to that, bro. Like, I gotta get on that, which was bring it back. Bring it back. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, I gotta get on that. You know what I'm saying? He ended up getting get on the song that night, and then was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, bro, I hit trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like, like hit trouble. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, so like, all, all that just came together, and it was just like, man, dang. Bro, you ain't never got no shot. Like, you ain't got no deal yet. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you ain't got no, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what what's going on? Like, why why is it, you know what I'm saying? Like, Because I've been hearing Trouble name for years. Yeah, and, and me and him, like, we were around the same age, so we coming up on the same scene. It's like, what what going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, so, bro, however I can help, like, I'm ready to help. Like, I got a label deal, boom, I got whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, because, you know what I'm saying? You hard, bro, like, and you deserve that real shot. Like, you know what I'm saying? To, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, put this shit out. You, know you think what people saying? were so, scared of you, Trouble? I don't know what it was, for real. I hear a lot of that, you feel me? Like, I don't be want nobody being feel me about no nothing. They know I'm handling my business, like, when it come down to it, but mm -hmm. like, I ain't never been no dude. Like, I don't scroll around the city, like, on no bullet tip. You know what I'm saying? Like, just going out my way to just try and get that nigga about no nothing. Like, mm -hmm. especially if you had no salt. I don't, like, I don't go at no salt taco about no about no nothing, you feel me? Like, I want you to be stand up about it, you know what I'm saying? But I just don't, I don't tolerate too much about no nothing. I don't go with no disrespect. Uh, and a lot of time, like a lot of them dudes just be insecure as a motherfucker, mm -hmm. man. Like that shit be shell. And I be feeling like I don't have different conversation with different dudes in council where they might be telling me like the dude who up or at the time or who could reach the hand and I don't wanna pull a nigga in, I'm gonna be like, Oh, well, yeah, now nah, he gonna steal my shine or yeah, nah, let them niggas figure it out on their own, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like shit, once you get on different plateaus and you reach a different level by shit, man, you supposed to turn around and reach your hand out about it. Especially when you're doing right. this official or nah, it, and real. it's authentic. You know what I'm saying? Like peel somebody else up on that on that plateau where you just at, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then keep on pushing. But dude be on they they be spooky goo. Like that shit just be so gay to me. Like, <laughs> uh, like I don't be I don't be getting them, bro. But Listen, at the end of the day, like that's why it was discouraging the hell. Like at first for a minute, I ain't gonna count. Like, that's why I asked that don't stop for like a year and a half. Like I was like, man, I ain't even stand the music no more. Like, forget it, bro. Like, I'm I'm just in the turf with it. Because I just seen like it really went it went when no drag ins and no pull ins. That's why I rocked Mike so hard. Like we was already had a good relationship and he was always on my line, like, oh you need to come out, you need to come mm -hmm. out, you need to come out here. So for him to reach in and then were ready to give me a chance, said it, I was like, bro, that's too hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause dudes are kick the fool when like far off when they see me. You know what I'm saying? They see me out sliding, they going, oh, what's up, truck? Why, what's up? Why I rocking with you? Why you going all, all that? But then as soon as you get ghosts, they're like, woo. Like, it's just like they just made a lot of situation type thing. Well, like, well, like, like what, 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 see, with truck, like, I was looking at it like, man, but I could really, you know what I'm saying? I could really help him out. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. he, he not scared right, of like. Well, if you say you know what I'm saying, <laughs> yo, <laughs> be last. Remember last? Oh, that's right. your lingo. Uh, they they, they gonna put the count on you this time. They know what he's saying. You gonna know, know what he's saying you know, by, by the end of the day. Hey, but, <laughs> but look, I'm a, I'm a, they gonna they gonna put the count on me. I'm just from the city. Like I'm a young yeah, dude from the city. You know what I'm saying? So like we gonna we gonna say we gonna say that shit like a million times. Like I'm really just thinking off the top of the dome. But anyway, like man, really really with school, it was like. All right, now I'm gonna start really. Nah, nah, just about don't think about it. Don't listen to him, man. Go ahead. <laughs> no, but look, like, no, on, 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 on the real, like, with school, like, like, man, you, you just threw me, you just threw my whole <laughs> train of thought out, man. Yeah, for you know real. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? For Did real. you ever pull, you pulled up to the bluff on him, clearly, right? I mean, I pulled, we, 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 we were chopping at a lot of Benny Hannas, you know what I'm saying? Okay. We were chopping yeah. at a lot of Benny Hannas, we were chopping at, we were chopping at different places, man. We were just, you know what I'm saying, like, going in for real. Like, it was just, like, really, because, Time and never like we never like linked up and really got in the mm -hmm. studio. Even though we've been knowing each other for a time, I might have had some songs on the mix on, on some of his old mixtapes or on the internet mm -hmm. or whatnot. And like, like we, you know, what I'm saying like we, we'll drop those songs, but we never really got in the studio and work. And like our first time getting in the studio and working, the first song he does is bring it back. The second song he does is my boy. Third song he does is pull that cash out. You know what I'm saying? Fourth song he does is might not even. And I'm like, hold up, like this dude ain't fading. And none of these. Like throw weird beats that I'm, you know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. I'm just making like right now. Like he just walking in the studio, like, hey, bro, pull that up. I might not even be done with the beat. He's just no, like, hey, man, pull it. Hey, pull that up. Now I'm ready to rap, bro. Come on. You know what I'm saying? And then he'll go crazy. And I'm like, hold up, bro. I'm like, hey, 
You know what I'm saying? And we just keep going. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're going to stop at six songs, but then we just keep going. Who's, then, your biggest, then, who's your biggest support in the A, as far as artist-wise? I see you worked with everybody from Gucci to Thug to... Who's your biggest supporter? I can't supporter? say supporter, like... I don't, feel, I don't feel like no, no, like no real supporter like that. Just being real, mm-hmm. you know, what I mean? like they all, they all rock when it's time to rock. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm to call out, but I just ain't no way you run either though. Like so, I think a lot of dudes be expecting you just always be on their line, like especially like if they popping or they having something going on, like mm-hmm. they be blowing them down. Hey man, let do one, do do all that. Like that ain't never been my steel about no nothing. I don't care if you just now coming in the game and you smoking or if you already at the top of the totem pole. Like I just like a thing to be genuine. That's why I was looking at Mike so crazy, like when he called me to the studio, like and he playing the songs, and then I end up hearing Drizzy verse on 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 the Bring It Back, the second right. verse. I actually had two verses on there. I'm looking at him too hot for real, for real. I'm like, boy, who the hell you don't put on my song? You tripping? <laughs> like I don't rock like that. You didn't that. know what Drake at first? Nah, not no. I'm out of town the whole time when he caught when Drake had him <laughs> calling my phone. I was out there in Hawaii with a snack. Like I'm booling. I'm on the hen dog. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Yeah, I, I, I was booling. But see, my whole he thing called was, a thousand times. No, nah, I never. I never. I, I, ain't, I ended up. I ain't never call him because I told Drake I was like, bro, we ain't even gonna hit him. I'm gonna just pull up to Atlanta and just play the verse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm just like, man. <laughs> but when I get to Atlanta, I'm hitting them. I'm like, where you at, bro? You know what I'm saying? Pull to the studio. Cause I know this is like, this is a game changer. We about to Absolutely. just do, a, we about to just do a mixtape right, right now, like a six song mixtape. This dude just hop on here, like he hears it one night, gets on the verse that night, and then you know what I'm saying. Next day, sends the verse. I'm like, man, okay, this on. I, I work with Drake a lot. Like this don't really just happen like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, boom, I go back to the city. Hey, bro, pull to the studio, man. All right, boom. When he put to the studio, we're going through the songs. He's like, dang, bro, let go in. Like, why you keep playing all the songs we already got? I'm like, man, I just put some mixes on them right quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just listen to right, Man, load the beat up. For real. <laughs> so Can then, you put a beat on? Nah, boom. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I'll play that Bring It Back. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, Drake come on, and he just looking. He's like, who that is, bro? <laughs> and then, and yeah, I'm he like, told me for I'm, a little. Like, he I'm just still bopping. I'm like. And then he like, man, who was that? And then his boys, his boys already know that. Boy, his boys, they thought like he already knew. They were like, damn, bro, that's hard, that's hard. He was like, man, who that is? And then he was like, man, they were like, bro, that's Drake. He was like, oh, hey, hold up, man, run that back right quick, bro. Mm-hmm. Hold on, you yeah. didn't tell me you put him on there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it was just like, it was just like, and that's the point you knew that it wasn't gonna be a mixtape anymore. That this is gonna be an album. Man, really, we we still look at this like a mixtape because it was just yeah. like a, it was just like an organic. It was an organic, such an organic thing. You feel mm-hmm. me? And like, I ain't even want to. I ain't even want to call right then and, and make like, man, it's just like boom, let it happen organically, mm-hmm. boom, like this, and then boom, they they link up. You know what I'm saying? Then when they link up, they got their own relationship, and like Drake already like that. And and I feel like that's my position. You know what I'm saying? As a producer, like like artists, like they might be so into their own world. You know what I'm saying? That they don't even cross paths, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like, sometimes it's like, I gotta make that bridge, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's like, like me me pulling up on the studio with Drake, having a whole another session, mm-hmm. and then I end up playing this playing this project, then he like, boom, he get on that song, you know what I'm saying? Not not what we were working on, he get on that song, and like send that back, and like he still worked on what we were working right. on, but it was like, man, boom, that was just urgent. Absolutely. Yeah. And it was like, man, that's when we were like, okay, we gotta, we gotta put it out serious though. You know what I'm saying? We gotta like shoot some videos, bro. Like put some he shot, money behind he, it, yeah. yeah, he shot a whole movie that's mm-hmm. crazy. You know what I'm saying? All his videos is crazy. And it's like, man, we wanted to come with like that top tier trap, like come with something different. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like when, when people see quality now, they're like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like they they heart stop. You know what I'm saying? Well, visuals are very important, especially for somebody like Trouble, because he tells such a story in his music. Exactly. So we want to we want to see that. See it. Whose exactly. idea was it to do the movie? It, it was, kinda it was like kind of like a collective, like, kind of kind of a collaboration between all of us, for real, yeah. for real, from me and Mike creating the music to him running back into my old manager or uh, Derek, who right here, they ran back into each other up here or whatnot. Man, mm-hmm. Shadow was already talking back about about linking up. So when we all got together, like he just crazed like with the with the creator, directing type shit. You know what I'm saying? So and then he know my story better than a lot of my. You know what I'm saying? Cause he home with them. He was there for like with my OG while I was gone. So he he being able to hear the talk in the street, he being able to chop it up with them about how I was rocking what was going on. Then when we finally linked, like he was able to see everything, you know what I'm saying? So when we came back, it was kinda like they go ahead and continue it off from where we left off at with it, you know what I'm saying? And then just bring it on to life. So when it came to shooting the visual though, as far as with the movie and the video, it was like shit, he knew exactly what to do. You know what I mean? You got out of jail in January. So you, was you writing a lot in jail? 
Nah, not for real, for uh-huh. real. I really would just pray it up and just in them book. Mm-hmm. Like, no, no. Man, I write, I write when I write while I'm home. Like, I got so much music. Like, it don't take me too long while I'm in the recording for real, for real. Like, I just don't been through so much. I got so many stories in me. It don't take me long at all. Rather, I just go straight in, or rather, I write. But it doper when I I, I can't say I have paid attention to that shit though. When I versus when I just go in there recording, like sometimes that shit might be some mumbo jumbo. And I'm glad I got I got real ones around me though, cause they might tell me like, man, that shit ain't it right up, mm-hmm. Troy. You know what I'm saying? For just first being like, yo, yo, that's smoking, mm-hmm. that's smoking. Let a nigga put out some that three wet. You smell? So I was like, hell no. Nah. So but when I do write verses for when I'm just freestyling, it be hardest. You know what I'm saying? What so influence you rapping? Huh? What was your influences rapping? Uh, pop, same ones I did to today. Pop, Boosie, DMA. I got them folk painted up on my wall in my studio. The old BG. Like I don't really listen to all that mumbo gumbo. Like it be it be boo like for when I'm in the club or whatever. Like I can listen to certain dude. Like all right, it cool for the vibe. I got the hen dog in me. Like it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? The Snackerville is around here. They kick shit. Fuck. <laughs> but other than that, like if I'm just if I'm just sliding though, like my ride or. Or if I'm in the hood, like that, that's what I'ma have all my youngers on. Just talk to them. Like, Pop get, Boosie get, and DMX. Pop Boosie, DMX, Ghetto Boy, the old BG, mm-hmm. Play a Fly. Like I'm on all that. One. Nothing from the A. From the A. Yeah. Out, when it comes to the A, out care. You know the old tilt. I still got that on my phone. Like yeah. the old tilt, the old G. But I just, I just like music that BJ be telling to my soul. I feel like you listen to too much of that garbage. Like you know what I'm saying? That kind of. You you kind of become a product of, of, of like what you putting into yourself. You know what I'm saying? So it, like, you like people that talk about something. Yeah, yeah. most definitely. It's a debate going on right now. Who started trap music? Is it Ti Gucci? <laughs> yeah. If you ask me, I think that I mean it's set in stone though. Like you got to no, like no matter if you fuck with them or you don't fuck with them. Like I feel like Tip put that shit on on the platform out gate. Like absolutely. Fall with the fall with the trap music. You know don't what I'm saying? Like, in the trap. He said it all. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like rather you going back and looking to the dates, or rather you were there during the times. It like it is what the fuck it is. A different nigga came in after the fact and did what they did. With it and may have turned it up an extra night, you know what I'm saying? But Jeff Ford, like from the beginning with it, like tilt set that shit in stone. Everybody, a different nigga was talking about hustling and all that, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they might have been talking about hustling, getting off on a couple songs. Then they were talking about robbing and then they were talking about some hoes or whatever, you feel me? But like when it came to tip on that shit with that trap music, it was just, it was circulated around the whole trap, you feel me? Like nothing but the bricks, like nothing but getting off and getting in, you feel me? So like I, I say tip off gate, what you tip, think? then go up. Well, Jeezy. Cause Jeezy came after Tip. I, I say Tip, then Goo Walk, then Jeezy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah but Jeezy was right. first though, right? They both nah, came out together. It was Tip, no, it was nah, tip, nah. no tip, Jeezy, nah. then Gucci. Nah, Gucci, 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 Gucci and Jeezy came at, at the same, same time, same, but yeah. I feel like it was Tip, and then Gucci, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he had that same, like, like he had like the streets, like he had the underground, mm-hmm. he had like that, you know what I'm saying? He had like his Jeezy probably effect. spread it faster, like, if all, like, worldwide, but like, for like, Jeezy like, like, took what, like, T.I. did, I feel like they all play different roles though. Mm-hmm. Like Ti was like the hustler, you know what I'm saying? And then like like Gucci was the robber, and then you know what I'm saying? Jeezy was like the the boss, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying? Like they all like spoke from different perspectives, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But like um, I feel like the first person who came out with it, you know what I'm saying? Like who first said, well, where I first heard trap, you know what I'm saying? Was with Tip, but you know what I'm saying? Like me and Gucci, that was, that was my introduction to trap music when mm-hmm. I was you know what I'm saying 16. So. We, we was putting out mixtapes and all that different kind of stuff. And like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like Go- Gooch did his thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, man, everybody did that. Yeah, did everybody that took thing. it to their level with yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to pop that shit and out. Go- and Gooch, Gooch trap music is totally different than T.I. trap music, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So Absolutely. he might he might just, Gooch might be saying like, man, this when, this when I started trap music, my trap music, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the trap music that, you know what I'm saying? That That's influenced by me, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know what it is. You feel <laughs> me? Like, what, what is it about Atlanta that makes street niggas international superstars? Man, they love Atlanta. Shit, right? I don't got them. No, I'm still waiting on my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Do you watch the show Atlanta? The who? The show, the nah, TV show Atlanta? Nah, truthfully, I don't even watch no TV at all. Mm-hmm. Like, I watch the news and I watch sports and like. I seen, I seen some episodes, though. It's, it's dead on. It's just like the city, like yeah, yeah. Child, I heard about you talking about with the boy. Uh, yeah. What a name, Donald Glover. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I never seen it. What was the um, reservations for you to actually sign the deal with Mike Will when he was coming to get you? Because for a lot of people, having a producer like Mike Will, who's had all the hits that he's had and the success he's had, they would jump at that opportunity. But why were you so like not certain? I just ain't never been thirsty. Like I don't had, I don't had several offers. Like since I've been home, mm-hmm. like them folks trying to lock me up in that paperwork. Yeah. 
But I just like it went if it went all the way right by no now, I don't got I don't got no problem taking the long road. Like feeling like I ain't come anywhere with shit. So I ain't just gotta ha- have it all at one time, one point in time about no now, you feel me? Like and, and I'ma always have my responsibilities on my shoulders and I know how to weigh them out. So I ain't just like soon as somebody tell me like, Hey, we got three million for you and I'm just like, Hey, yeah, let go with it. Me not knowing I might not get no more money after the fact. Like you might be getting a hundred percent of everything else and I don't get nothing but the three million. And a lot of cases that what the situation was with mm-hmm. the earlier offerings. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, once we looked through it and me and my team chopping it up, my family and my manager, cause he be too strict on it. Like he all the way through all the paperwork, send it through them lawyer folk, then he send me the paperwork back. It had so many red slashes. I was like, God damn, like they must be one of the homies. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, hell, so I was like, hell no. Nah. So when it when it came when it came down to with with Mike, then like they real was on some like I'm already knowing like forward with the relationship we got and how we rocking like Man, my, I know my boy ain't finna try me, period. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm already knowing this in my head, but at the same time, I'm looking like shit, it business. So I still got to keep my head in the game, you feel me? So, but when it came down to them, when we sitting down, we chopping up for wonder. The feeling was was a natural vibe, and we all were just kicking shit and chopping business. And then them folks really was on some shit, like, you make the turn type thing. Like, they ain't just come at me on no willy nilly type shit, like, and just throw nothing out there on no bullshit. Them folks, like, you make the turn, you feel me? So when we came down to it, and we actually made our own turn, then she was like, shit, how the fuck not? Why, why the hell not go for it? You feel me? Like, let's get it poppin'. I, I love the record, man. Real is rare, so I really fuck with niggas. Expound on that yeah. motto. Really raw. Why well, I rather fuck with niggas? That shit, yeah. I, I rather fuck with niggas, bro, because nigga be, it, it ain't even be some real street punk. Like, for real, for real. Like, don't nobody really be about what they be talking about. Like, I be looking at a lot of these dudes who just be popping and everything, like, and they passing out the wrong messages. Like, they don't, they don't be understanding how important it is like when you get in these platforms because like you you become a voice for the for the youth and the nation for everybody who listening and who become your following who become a follower of you mm-hmm. if him but new dude, dude just be so be so selfish and it all be it all be for the paperwork at the end of the day people just money motivated so they ain't thinking about them about far for what they putting out here they ain't telling nobody the ends and outs of the street they just telling them. Go oh, hey, I'm gonna shoot your granny house, shoot your granny house, but you ain't never even shot nobody goddamn grandma house. So why you gonna <laughs> tell that little man go do it? Now he finna have he now he facing a whole elbow. You feel me? He ain't got no mind to put up. You ain't tell him no way to go hustle up and get no bank roll, set that to the side, don't go fuck it up at Lenny. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Nigga ain't telling no nigga nothing like that, period. And nigga just send send niggas up for the downfall. That's why I feel like at the end of the day, when I come in, like of course I came in busting for trouble, trouble because that was just that's just my life at the end of the day, and that was actually that, that's actually fact. So, and it's, it's that, that song actually came around from me listening to the beats and me talking with the OG. They're like, bro, you don't even gotta do nothing no more. Everybody busting for you, like you really just need to take the music serious, but lock on in. So, like my life, my life, but at the same time, we like I I know folk be listening. So I be like, I don't want to put out the bullshit. I want to let these niggas know like it can go their way. It could go up. It could go down. Like your plan could go south. And what to do and how to be prepared for different certain certain situations. You know what I'm saying? Because it's important. Because because at the same time, I look at it like for niggas like Boosie them like that helped me guide in certain situations that mm-hmm. that made 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 me be all the way on right and for to even be for well met with it today. Cause I would have crashed all the way out if I was listening to so much bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't think dude really think about it too much like for for when they just putting out shit. Nigga just going in there and thinking like, cause the simplest shit these days really be getting you the bigger bankroll. You know what I'm saying? Like folk just folk just dumb as hell. Like mm-hmm. motherfucker got ADD out here. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's why it kind of you, if you think about it like back in the day, everybody was rapping all the 16 ball. Like you fuck around put a 16 on something these days, man. Nigga cutting your ass off his seat. Yeah, like that's too much. They just like hell, nah. You could be saying the realest shit in the mm-hmm. world, like you know what I'm saying. Something that gonna really relate, you know. Something that you could be going through right then at that moment. You feel me? What you finna need to hit them last full ball, but you gonna cut it off. Like if he if he ain't got the right jam, if he ain't whamming mm-hmm. too bad, you know what I'm saying. So I be trying to get on something where it gonna it'll kind of gravitate or circulate back around toward that where it has real true meaning. You know what I'm saying? At the end of they folk know like. My my life and my, my my music and my facts and my life for real for real at the end of the day. So I just felt like I always just I just needed a chance or somebody just to reach out about that shit and just kind of bring me toward the light by the the way folk actually hit me out. You know what I'm saying? So how do you balance it? How do you balance being from the street and putting it in your music? Because you, you you know of course you don't want to send the wrong message, but if yeah. it's your real life, yeah, you got to get it out. I mean because that kind of, I ain't no robot at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like so I, like, I go through shit like nigga got feeling about certain shit and shit. I care about my family. Like I don't have. Chicks who I cared for, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I ain't, ain't just one way about no nothing. Like, the streets mm-hmm. to the streets, and that's where I'm gonna be at with it at the end of the day. But, but, I, but I live too. Like, I'm a regular, I'm a regular nigga, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So 
So like for like with with the music, when I go in there, I don't just I don't just stay one way about no number because that ain't that ain't reality. You know, I go with my feeling about things. So if certain certain beats will come on, like a like the rider beat come on, and it send me to certain, it give me certain memories. Like for from when I was dealing with somebody that was silent or somebody that didn't understand what it took to be silent or what a real rider was, then I tell that story. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like when the hurt real bad come on, it it sent, it click in in my head about all the betrayal and all the backstabs and everything that I was going through in my real life and that would brought the tears out while I'm recording that one. And then I tell that story, you feel me? Like, I don't, I don't go in there and feel like, uh, worry about public perception. Like, hey, you trouble, man. You got to be straight out there and just get to him straight raw. Like, everything need to be slash them up, bust them down. Like, hell no, nah, because that ain't real. That's real. All right. All right. Now, now, now Mike, well, uh, you, you know, who, who are your, like, do you like the sound that's coming out of Atlanta now? Like, the, the music? I, I, I respect. Shit, I respect. Trash. I respect. I respect. I, I can't say. I can't say it's trash, man. Because I put out a lot of music through Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, he talking I, about I can't, now. I can't, no, no, I, man. Look, man. Let me answer the I'm question. I'm saying he talking about now, though, bro. I ain't tell you how to answer no question. <laughs> hey, I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, he but, about I, now. But, I, but I'm saying like I'm getting to it. You know. You know. I like the. I like the. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, I need to be for real. Bro. But um, yeah, like really, really like the music that's coming out. I feel like. I feel like Trouble, my favorite rapper, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, coming out the city right now, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I like, I respect everybody. I got, like, I fuck, I mean, I fuck with Young Thug's music, I fuck with Future music, I fuck with, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with everybody that's coming out, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But, um, and we all came up together, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, um, Trub, like, he he gives, like like I said earlier, like, them storytelling, mm-hmm. and like, you know what I'm saying? And he, co- he covers both ends, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, he covers both ends, like, he, he he rounds it off with that, with that, with that, with that um, uplifting and that, and that, and that, mo- and that motivational, you know what I'm saying? That, that motivational talk, and he and he gives somebody something to walk away with, you know what I'm saying? That's and that's how it is, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what that's what I'll be looking for, like in songs, like that I'm riding to, like, like, cause you know what I'm saying? Like, music is more than just like the club, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, like you know what I'm saying? I'll be looking for that in in each artist project, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times artists. They don't even they only have time to even dive in other artists' projects. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it take me a long time. Like I don't listen to this person's album like when it drop and everybody's talking about it. Like I I go listen to it on my own time, listen to it, see if I find some songs I like. Boom, and you know what I'm saying? Like might might make a playlist and like you know what I'm saying? But my boy School he don't be on he don't be on Spotify like that. You know what I'm saying? Trouble you don't fuck with none of music in Atlanta, huh? And it, I like I love music, period. Like so, I listen to a lot of dudes who, like who coming up now. Like I be, che- I stay checking niggas out. I be telling bro about dude. Like I don't be getting no checking out for none of these niggas. I ain't getting paid for it. Like I should get a consultant fee or something. You feel me? But <laughs> right. hey, yeah, but I stay, I stay checking niggas out. It just like when you like when you said Atlanta, I just took that directly. Like you know what I'm saying? Like Atlanta ain't really much like that, that nigga that really talking about no nothing. Like a couple dudes have some club songs and all that shit, but I don't really fuck with none of that shit, man. Like. Lil Lucha, that my little partner, you know what I'm saying? So shout out make shout out make some good music. But I be listening to like twenty one. I think twenty one be saying some real shit. Who? Twenty one seven. Yeah, Lil Lucha be making some little music, goddamn. Um I fought with Lil' uh, Young Blue, like shout shout it hard to me, you know what I'm saying? He be saying some different shit in his songs and shit. Savage don't have some he had some couple club bangers and shit that I fought with. But you got shit like, like the nothing new it, like the nut, like the nothing new record. Who that? That's the, that? That's the record he did called Nothing New. He talked about like a lot of social issues that's going on and stuff like that. And just the way he delivers oh, shit. Like he said, I if I was never, Rosa Parks, I'd have shot that cracker. Like who, just, just, oh, I can't care. I ain't never heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, 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 rock, I, rock, I rock with Savage. Yeah, Savage. I have a record rock, coming out in a couple days, too. I rock with Savage. And I, ain't nothing wrong with it. I, I just don't, don't, don't listen. I rock with, yeah. I rock with, um, I rock with um, Key. You know what I'm saying? Um, Are you talking with, about Key Glock? Yeah, Key Glock hard, yeah, too. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about Fat Man Key. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, man, it's 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 so much talent in Atlanta, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too many. It's too many. You know what I'm saying? It's too. It's too much different music. But I mess with like, you know what I'm saying? Like underground cats, the young cats coming up. Then, then man, Trouble got hard artists. You know what I'm saying? Like Free World. Yeah, like, he get old baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, man, I'm I'm, I'm always listening. To everything Duct Tape mm-hmm. got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's 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 a, man, it's it's so much. Man, there's so much waves in Atlanta, man. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, but you know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, like, like man, we're trying to set that that precedent where you know what I'm saying? Like we can just inspire to like, you know what I'm saying? Take it, take it there with these movies and these videos, mm-hmm. and you know what I'm saying? Like solid projects from top to bottom, and you know what I'm saying? Like we just we just coming different with it. You feel me? Speaking of movies, how, how accurate was Snow on the Block? 
He from Vine City for real. Like, I don't want even from the bluff. Like, really? Like, a lot of folks don't even know what's going Come on. Come on, man. Nah, like, but that right up the block, it's still the west side. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? But like, it was kind of half in, half out. Some of that shit was food. Some of that shit was real. Yeah. Right. yeah. I heard you got a record coming out in the next couple of days. What, I heard you got uh, Nicki Minaj's first single. Oh, word. Oh, yeah. That's about to drop. Oh, yeah. Tell us about, know, tell us about know, that. I didn't even know it was about to drop, bro. To be real with you, we just dropping music right now, man. But it's crazy, though. You know what I'm saying? Nicki going... Going, going nuts. You Who know on it? Uh, Nikki going nuts. I don't know. I don't know if she put. A, I don't know if she put a feature on there. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if she put a feature on there or not. I ain't heard it since. Like I ain't seen. It. You know, ain't nobody really seen or heard from yeah, Nikki. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like she so, rapping. Yeah, she rapping. Okay. She going crazy. Like she. I think she just went. I think she just went into her little. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Got it all the way together, and she about to drop. But I saw. I saw they had the beat in the Benz commercial. You know what I'm saying? So I know it's coming, but I ain't heard the final product. I'm shocked you ain't never connect Trouble and Scarface, man. I feel like that would have been a good link. Yeah, I feel like that would be a good connection. I could do that right after this interview. That's yeah, that's all, bro. Three that's See, my I boy. be on all that type of shit. That's why when you say somebody about A-Music, like, like, I feel like it's a lane for everybody, right? Like, you got to have the little damn niggas and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who going to have the folks just twerking it out and shit for the good time? Mm-hmm. Who just want to escape their pain through dance? You know what I'm saying? Because, of course, everybody don't want to always hit a the summer down like the emotional ass songs and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I understand that at the end of the day. So you gotta have a different folk, a, a different structure, you know what I mean? But you gotta have a nigga who just scrape bullshit or whatever for when nigga got down going to ride on move. Mm-hmm. At the same time, when I'm just when I, when I was doing number hitting lits, all I wanted to hear was set it off. You feel like I ain't want to hear nothing that was gonna tell me got down get out the car. You know what I mean? <laughs> like yeah, yeah. So like you know, so it's a different lane for everything. They just like fall with me and like where I'm at with them. I like like I don't be like hearing none of that bullshit for real, for real. Like I, I salute these dudes, whatever. Like going on about your grind. Like get your hustle on. Like get it however you gonna get it. That's on you at the end of the day. You feel me? Like but that ain't gotta be my life. You feel yeah. like I don't I, rock with that shit. No, I, even no, saw- I, I call it I call it uh, get up get up and party music and then sit down and listen music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just two two different types of music. Yeah. Right, I even saw when you came home, you unfollowed everybody on on social media. That really it was like, like that's why I told them though, like within one of my uh within my comment, whatever. Cause I know just no folks so damn sensitive mm-hmm. these days. Folk take everything to heart. You can't say nothing about no nothing. But like with me, like I'ma speak how I feel, bro. Like so it was with the war. I was like, shit. I know some folks were gonna take it to heart, but it wouldn't even bot nobody personally. Like mm-hmm. I just didn't want to see no more of that shit. Like. Right. I just feel like like you get so consumed, then you you'll go from checking your phone out from about five ten minutes, then some catch your eye, you laughing or whatever. Woo, woo. Before you know it, that fire done turned into four to five. You know what I mean? That four to five done turned into two hours. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. me? That's just too much wasted time. Right. Where you really could be like close that motherfucker out, go down your car log, see who you need to call about some, and keep flipping it on up. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Try to get some new situations or something going on. Like, cause you can't never be, you know what I'm saying? You can't never be too content with nothing about no now. I don't care how many m and you got or hunters or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. jump out here and try to try to build up relationship with folk. That's what it was about me. So I was like, man, it, it's just too much on my damn phone. So I wanted to keep it off of there just in case for when my mind kind of started wandering around and I wanted to get on the ground. When I do click on here, it was nothing to see. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. And I did that. When I did come home, like, and I and I got everybody off my shit, it was a certain time where I was like, let me see what's going on on the ground. And I click, I was like, that might not be shit popping. But I'm really forgetting that I don't unfollow everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nothing going on. I scroll my shit, but ain't nothing on there. So it kept me out of that world. You know what I'm saying? And then I jumped back into reality because sometimes that's how a lot of people lose themselves. And I think that 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 what done fucked up a lot of people in the world too far for how folk be moving. Like people feel like these day like you can only wear one you like an outfit that you buy no matter what it is, rather it's goo or Javinci or whatever you feel mm-hmm. like you only supposed to wear this one time. That shit come from being so stuck into that social media and you seeing everybody who extra turned up and all that like they always swapping it out on yeah. every picture. So you start to feel like you become unappreciative of far what you got, you feel me? Like you become real disrespectful for anything that you're doing or the big God don't <laughs> bless you with. You know what I'm saying? You, you start looking gratitude. at clothes like, yeah, like, I can't I can't wear that no more. I just <laughs> mm-hmm. had that one on March 20th. Like, it, so the fuck what? It's shit yours. You feel me? You worked hard for whatever you had to go pay for that shit. You know what I'm saying? So they yours at the end of the day. How, who going to tell you how many times you supposed to wear it or how many times you supposed to remix it? You know what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I don't come for that, man. Who, you, you got a billion dollars set up somewhere? The way you can just do 300 65 outfit, you know what I'm saying? For eating you, <laughs> man, is you crazy? Like, but that, that come from that social media, cause you could be absolutely comfortable. And that, and I swing that back around to the music too, though. Like, that's why I, I, I talk such in a in a general state, bro, for for everybody to grab something from, because at the same time, dude, mate, 
Like, for, if you pop it for an instant, like, they'll make a young nigga uncomfortable with being himself, bro, because a nigga might be like, he could, like, nine to five for some folk. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. everybody, everybody ain't going to be the bigger goddamn drug dealer. Everybody ain't going to be the bigger rapper or the bigger singer or none of this shit. But So if a nigga coming to you and he telling you, like, bro, I'm finna got down Walmart, just call me and say, they finna hire me, man. Shit, I'm going to just go hold it down for a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then, But you have a certain dude who's going to be like, but that what's up, but I go hold it down. That me, but I go hold it down. That's what you need to be doing. You feel me? Then you're going to have a certain nigga who be like, man, that nigga lame in hell. But nigga go get a nine to five. Jokes on the man the whole time. And if you have such a following where everybody jokesing on you and start laughing at you, that's going to make the nigga feel uncomfortable with it and be like, man, hell no, I can't be no duck out here. You feel me? me before before you know it, he finna jump in the street. He ain't even no street nigga, so he don't know how to rob. He don't know what to rob. Mm-hmm. He finna pick up a scrap and go hit a family dollar. Boy, ain't nothing in there. <laughs> you feel me? Like, he finna crash straight out. Like, real, they be crashing straight out. And that shit just came from what a nigga be putting out. And nigga don't even be paying no attention to that. And before you know it, and the home got a K, the same nigga who was just telling you lame in hell for goddamn going to get their Walmart job, gonna be like, that nigga a dummy. Right, Soon bro. you see him on the news, like, that nigga a dummy. He should've went and got that job. Nah, nigga, you should've told him that. All right up. What, sure, what book changed, my last question, what book changed your life the most in, in jail? I can't say really change. Like, I grabbed something from all on though, like, for real, for real. I read, uh, I was up on Pop Resurrection book, uh, The 48, of course. Mm-hmm. I read a lot of Jane Patterson books. Like, I grabbed something from everything. All right. Well, we appreciate you guys for joining us. Edgewood. Trouble Mike Will, Edgewood out right now. That's right. Edgewood it's going crazy. Edgewood it's the right Breakfast now. Club. Good morning. You know what I'm saying?